What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about being able to buy antiquity furnishings in the High Isles chapter. This was something of course that was discovered on the public test server. A lot of the you know PC home kind of decorating fans were out there looking at all the new stuff for housing and they did discover that you can actually uh, buy antiquity furnishings now from the different furnishing vendors in each individual zone. So if there's an antiquity that comes from that zone, you can purchase it from that furnishing vendor. Now the catch to this is you have to have all the codexes done. So in other words, you have to find all the you know different codexes and actually dig that antiquity piece up at least one time. So if you've dug up, you know, um, for example, some of the cool stained glass windows we have available uh, in the antiquity system, if you have dug them up at least once, you can now go to that furnishing vendor from that particular zone that stained glass window comes from, and you actually can buy it from that furnishing vendor. Now, everything that I saw so far on the public test server kind of varied in price. Some of the cheaper antiquity items were around 10,000 gold and they kind of went up from there. And the highest priced item that I saw uh, within the uh, public test server was around 100,000 gold. Now, does this mean everything's going to be, you know, that cheap at, at 10,000 or that expensive at 100? No, there's going to be prices kind of in between. Some things might be 50,000, some might be 20. And who knows, we may see some things that are more expensive or less expensive going down the road, depending on what furnishings we get in the future. But I do think this is a good way for housing players to have the option to be able to get multiple antiquity furnishings without having to go out and farm those codexes and farm those items and dig them up over and over. That is a bit of a tedious process. If you are a housing fan, you know what I'm talking about. Going out and trying to get, for example, a vampiric stained glass window codex from, you know, from uh, doing the horror storms sometimes can take a while. Sometimes I, I've been up there and got them, you know, kind of quickly. Sometimes I've been there and done them over and over and over and still won't get the codex. So if you at least are, you know, have, or at least have the option, I guess, to um, be able to buy these items, I think a lot of people will be happy with that. The only issue I see really is the price. A lot of people may not have the gold to go out and spend, you know, 100K a piece on some of these really nice items, and they may want multiples of those items in their homes. That might be a problem later down the road. Zoss may have to tweak the pricing. I'm not sure if they will because to me, all of the pricing of these items kind of reminds me of how the luxury vendor that comes to the game on Friday is kind of the same pricing that the luxury vendor has. You know, you have a few items that are cheap, you know, five to ten thousand dollar range, and you have some that go up to fifty k and up to a hundred k. And like I said, who knows in the future we may see some items that cost even more than a hundred k. We kind of just have to wait and see. But leave me a comment. And let me know your uh, your thoughts on this. If you're a housing person. Do you like this option? I made a video a long time back talking about how I wish you could buy antiquity items, and I'm glad that they are doing this now. Uh, I think it's a fair kind of trade-off to, you know, so, say as long as you have dug that one antiquity up at least one time, you have all the codexes for that antiquity furnishing, you can now purchase that from the zone furnishing vendor. I think this will be a thing that makes most players in the game happy. There's probably going to be some people out there that disagree with it. But at the same time, like I said, it is a very grindy process if you want multiple antiquity items or multiple antiquity furnishings in your home. It's a very grindy process to go out and keep you know, finding these codexes and continue digging these up. You still will be, have the option to do that. If you don't have the gold, you still can go out and farm them like you farm them right now. But if you have the gold, you will have that option to actually just go in and purchase those items individually and you know have as many as you want in your home so leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about it and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace